Rover goes to school. My sister's name is Rover. Okay? She won't answer if you call her anything else. She just points to the puppy costume Grandpa made for her. Woof! 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 My sister sleeps in the puppy costume. She eats in the puppy costume. She goes for walks in the puppy costume. Mostly on a lead, with me holding the other end. You're her brother, Barney, Mom says. It's the sort of thing brothers do. Thanks, Mom. And when the puppy costume is being washed, my sister just sits and mopes. Sigh. She was moping under the washing line one Sunday morning when grumpy Mrs. Robinson from next door looked over her fence. What's that you've hung out to try? It's Rover. Rover? He's still wet, Mrs. Robinson, from the washing machine. Mrs. Robinson's face turned pink. You've put your new puppy in the washing machine? She gasped. And now you've pegged it out on the washing line? Well, it's not alive. Not alive? It wouldn't be. Not after you've done that to it. She heard indoors. Not after you've done that to it. She hurried indoors, muttering under her breath. But by Monday morning, the puppy costume was dry, and Rover was back in action. You can't wear it now. Why not, Barney? It's a school day today. Woof! You're going to school dressed as Rover? Woof! Woof! I couldn't believe it. It was true, though. Mom and Dad had agreed to it. It seems only fair, Barney. Well, she couldn't wear it yesterday, could she? Dad had written a note. Cherry Orchard Cottage, Falstaff Street, Globeston. Monday. Dear Mr. Goodwin, Would you let Sarah wear her puppy costume to school for the day? Grandpa made it as present. I'm sure you'll understand. Barney will keep an eye on her. Many thanks. John Borden. Me? Why should I keep an eye on her? Because you're her brother. But do I have to? Yes. So I took Rover to school. Mr. Lucas, the crossing man, Nearly dropped his lollipop. Good morning, Barney. Good morning. Er, Rover. My sister's name is Rover. Good morning, Rover. Woof, woof, woof. As she crossed the road, Rover waved and blew kisses at everyone. All the kids 
and all the traffic came to a complete standstill. It was as if a rock singer or a famous footballer was visiting the school. Stop showing off! Cross now, doggy. Look at that lovely puppy. When we finally made it into school, I headed straight for the head teacher's office to give him Dad's note. Surely, Mr. Goodwin would see sense. But even he seemed pleased to see us. Okay, Barney, he grinned. We'll let your sister off school uniform just this once. What a clever chap your grandpa is. Maybe too clever. Rover may scare the little ones, though. She'd better stay in your class. My class? Only for today. I ask you, would you like to spend a day in class with a kid's sister in a puppy costume? Now, I was really embarrassed. What would my class teacher say about it? Her name is Mrs. Duggan. The dragon is what we call her. You'll hate your new teacher, Rover, with any luck. Rover? Your sister's name is Rover? Woof! Well, I hope she's a well-behaved puppy. She can begin by helping us with a literacy hour. Here are some poems I want you to look at. They're written by a poet called Michael Rosen. The dragon let us read our favorite Michael Rosen poems out loud. I chose one about a dog. Down behind the dustbins, I met a dog called Tim. He didn't know me. And... I didn't know him. At this, my sister wagged her tail like mad, and Mrs. Duggan actually smiled. Now, write some poems of your own. Use Michael Rosen's poems to get you started. Here's the one I wrote first of all. Down among the dustbins, I met a dog called Rover. She's such a stinky show-up, though. I wish today was over. This wasn't quite what the dragon wanted, of course. So I crossed it out and wrote another one. Down behind the dustbins, I met a dog called Rover. She's such a mighty megastar. I call her Supernova. Supernova? Someone said. What kind of name is that? It's a star that gets brighter and brighter, said Mrs. Duggan. So it fits our little friend here perfectly. Then she turned to me. It's lovely to see a boy who's so brotherly, Barney. Brotherly? I'd have divorced to my little sister if I could. In maths, 
We measured her. What floppy ears! She's got four feet altogether. In science, we studied two clusters of stars called the dog stars. And at story time, Mrs. Duggan even began reading a book called Woof. It's in honor of our special guest. Out in the playground after lunch, I thought all the other infants would pat my sister to death. Good doggy. Good doggy. By now, I'd written another poem in my head. Down behind the dustbins, I met a dog called Rover. I thought that school might cure her, but she took the whole place over. Maybe the afternoon would be different, I told myself. No chance. Can you guess who we drew in the art lesson? Or which of us was best at PE? No wonder Rover was exhausted when it came to the assembly time at the end of the afternoon. In the hall, she curled up beside me sleepily. First, Mr. Goodwin told us about the summer feet on Saturday. Then, he introduced a special visitor. This is Caroline from the Look After Animals Society, he said. She's come today with an important message for all of us. That's right. It's a message about really caring for our pets. Does anyone here have a pet at home? A goldfish. Two kittens. A hamster. A stick insect. My very own pony. Caroline nodded. She was a tiny lady with smiley eyes. Except now, they looked rather sad. Well, I hope you're always kind to them. It's awful the way some children treat their pets. Caroline gave us all a serious look. Why, only yesterday, I had a terrible phone call, she said. The lady who made it was so upset, she forgot to leave her name and address. We know she lives here in this village, though. I think you'd better tell us about it. Are you sure, Mr. Goodwin? I'm positive. According to this lady, the little girl who lives next door put her puppy in the washing machine. Then she hung it out to dry. Everyone gasped. Gasp. Ooh. Gasp. Aww. Caroline looked ready to burst into tears. Suddenly, woof, 
What? My sister bounded down to the front so fast I could hardly keep up with her. Woof, woof, woof. Er, uh, uh, this is Rover, said Mr. Goodman, and her brother Barney. Their parents are actors, Caroline, and their grandpa made that puppy costume. He stared hard at my sister. Rover, have you got something to tell us? Woof! Rover acted the whole thing out with a bit of help from me. She used a drama block as the washing machine. Rumble, rumble. Sigh. She used a skipping rope as the washing line and pegs from the display. And she borrowed Mr. Goodwin's glasses to help her play Mrs. Robinson. Soon, everyone was laughing their heads off. Oh, dear, said Caroline, wiping her eyes. I don't get many jokes in my job. Thank you, Rover, for such a wonderful story. She finished her talk with my sister stretched out at her feet. At the end, everyone clapped loudly. Then somebody shouted, Three cheers for Rover and Caroline! I think it may have been me. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Mind you, I'll leave Grandpa to explain things to Mrs. Robinson. The End